What's up world? It's your girl Gigi back at you with another video. If you haven't been to the channel before, welcome. 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 We provide you with product reviews, restaurant reviews, and recipes. And if you haven't already hit the like button, please do so. Subscribe to the channel. Share it out. Share it out with your friends, family, neighbors, co-workers. You might be a partner of someone with a gluten intolerance. Or you may just want great recipes. So swing by and check us out. Hit the notification bell so you will be notified when we upload a new video. And today what we are showcasing today is beef flanking steak. That's right. We grilled them. The last grill for 2019. Beef flanking steak. Uh, we marinate them. We marinated these for only two hours. However, I normally marinate for like 24 hours. I make all my own marinades and sauces. Every, almost every condiment that I use that I personally eat, I prepare them myself. That way, I know that they're gluten-free. I know that it doesn't have a very high salt content. And pretty much that's it. My base for my marinade for these uh, beef flanking steak was Bragg's apple cider vinegar. So what I do, um, I marinate them normally for 24 hours. However, I didn't do that. But what happens when I use vinegar, when I use vinegar, I don't have to use as much sodium. I try to cut back on sodium and that's just my personal preference. You may like sodium. You may like a lot of it. However, I want to taste my food. I don't want it to be overpowered with sodium. So I use fresh herbs and vinegar that's right in a dash of sea salt but i also use dill weed i use fresh dill weed and i use dried dill weed and it works perfect it takes um it, it really works and it it keeps you from having to use so much salt so um we have a few mashed potatoes you notice i, I have to put the mashed potatoes towards the back because that white it doesn't come across good on camera guys this is my first meal of the day you may see me eat a full plate today my salad is only it's the 50 50 organic spring mix blend with uh, shredded cheese cheddar and monterey jack and green onion and i have bragg's apple cider vinegar most of the time if i'm doing something like a baked potato or mashed potatoes with butter in it and then i have this meat with sauce on it i just don't do a salad dressing i find it overpowering all those different tastes but going into 2020 i've got to do more vegetables no question more vegetables i already have checked myself when it come down to my water intake. Now I'm working on my, my vegetable. I like salad, but most of the time I buy the container, the pre-mix and it's just so large. I end up letting it go to waste and I hate wasting money. I tell you that all the time. So, that's the deal on that. But we're going to be doing a lot more grilling because that is my specialty. That's what my channel was supposed to be all about. And I just got off and started <laughs> rolling and doing a whole bunch of stuff. God, you want to say See, I like my meat medium well. I don't like well done meat. Nope, I don't like well done meat. I like my meat medium well. And it's so good. These have more meat on them than beef ribs. In a lot of cases. Now, this is some, some places you can go. You can find some beef ribs with a lot of meat on them. But I prefer these because they cook. It takes less time to cook. 
If you marinate them, they can be on and off the grill in 30 minutes. If you don't marinate them, they'll be just like them old tough beef ribs. <laughs> I can't stand no tough meat. Tough meat don't work for me. I have a thing about mashed potatoes. I really love them. But they very filling and packed with calories. I've been trying to do the cauliflower thing, but I get off track. I forget about it because I love potatoes so much. It's okay to get off track sometimes. We all do it. Don't beat yourself up. God, this is good. I wish you could taste it. It's delicious. Mm. Delicious, God. I like to eat my own food, prepare my own food. Because I know what I'm getting. Over the last three or four days, we go to these places, they have hours up. But they closed, but they open, and they're out of this, and they're out of that, and they are always out of beef. They have all the pork in the world, but they're out of beef. So, I just decided to make my own. That way, I would know what's in it, and all of that good stuff. Um, I bought the beef flank and steak at BJ's Wholesale. I don't know if you have one in your area, but they sim it's similar to Costco's and Sam's. They have very fresh, beautiful, beautiful meat. Very beautiful. I'm a meat and potatoes girl. I love my meat <laughs> and I love my potatoes. I eat my share of rice too. But this is a simple, quick meal you can plan and prepare. Guys, I'm looking forward to 2020. And everything that it has to offer, we're going to stay positive. We're going to keep on grinding and moving forward. And I pray that you continue on my journey with me. I told you this has been a journey for 17 long years. I've had a gluten intolerance. And I have fell off the wagon a few times. For you, those of you who say, it's so hard to keep the diet. How do you do it? Well, I'm glad you asked. I have to plan. I have to prepare. And that means shopping, prepping the food, setting a schedule for when I'm going to cook because I work and I have a family. So I have to plan and prepare. They're not gluten-free. However, I am. A lot of times they sacrifice with me so that I don't have to prepare separate things because it's very time consuming to do that because I have to use separate utensils, separate pots and pans. It's just a whole lot that goes into it. However, it's getting easier and easier. And when I fall off the wagon, I feel so bad that it doesn't take me long to get back right. So I fell off the wagon a couple times over the 17 years, but for the last, um, last about seven years, I've been doing really, really, really good. Everything is 100%. Because when I was traveling for work, it got really hard at times. And I didn't really fall off the wagon. I just wasn't eating enough. And if your gut isn't healthy and you're not eating enough, you feel it. You feel it. Everything that goes down, 
when it's time to digest, you can feel it. And so, planning and preparing will cause you to have a healthy gut. We have quite a few things that we can do to keep our gut healthy along with the, our diet. And one of those things is probiotics. You can take it in tablets. You can eat Greek yogurt. Today for breakfast, I had Greek yogurt, strawberries and blueberries and granola, and it was delicious. So that's something that you can do. Something that you'll enjoy is good for you, but at the same time, you're feeding your body good bacteria. Everybody knows about bacteria that's bad for you, but when you have digestive issues, you have to make sure you consume good bacteria as well. Mm -hmm. So things about this diet can be fun, exciting, just like anything else. We don't have to um, sacrifice flavor. We don't have to give up our favorite dishes. We just got to learn to prepare them or find a place to buy them that agrees with our diet. But um, thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. The channel is growing. We're growing rapidly. We got some things coming for 2020. Y'all sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. God loves you, and so do I.